Okay, so as we can see, right hand one was your before. Again, good setup. Grip just getting a little bit on that weak side. Just make sure that palm of your right hand is a little bit more, yeah. For all intents and purposes, the club and the palm is effectively the same. They okay. should be sort of facing towards target, okay? Try and get them a little bit more in line, okay? But in terms of the movement there now, you had a good backswing. So on this one here now, I would say this backswing, really good, okay? So if we call the backswing there sort of, if that's half the golf swing, so 50% of your golf swing there is where you haven't quite moved down. For the first 35 40%, brilliant. As you're getting to about here, what we want to try to do is start getting the bump towards time. Now, if you actually look here in the quality of this one, you've had a good shoulder turn, you've had a good hip turn, and you've shifted nicely just off the ball slightly. So your left hips come off that yellow line. Brilliant. And when you finish the swing, you end up perfectly on it. The problem is at impact when you're in the golf ball, you're away from it, okay? So you're leaning back off the golf ball here now. If we look here on this right hand, this is the practice swing. Not really turning there, your hips kind of more sliding out to the right there, yeah? yeah so this back swing, as much as you do start shifting better on the way down, that movement there, okay, from sort of there down here is very good. And we need to try and blend that with obviously that, which you can do because you just <laughs> you proved it. It's obviously this is why some of when you're sort of adding a swing thought, sometimes other things sort of they stop yeah, yeah. working normally, if you say, because that's your normal back, so okay, compared to mm -hmm. that there. You can see this hip kind of just sort of just popped, ooh, mm. popped out there a little bit, where in this one it's just sort of it just rotated around nicely. Mm. So that's the back swing. As we get to about here, as the club now is starting to change directions so at this point, the club when it starts the golf swing is moving in that direction. So your weight shift goes that way. As the club now gets to about here, the direction of that golf club is that way, yeah? So your weight needs to now start following with that. As your club is actually going that way, you could actually, your weight still keeps going to the right, doesn't it, yeah? Mm. So although you think, oh, the club's going in the wrong direction of my body, in actual fact, when you were swinging before, the, the body was going that way, the club was going in this direction. So it's getting that blend of movement through the ball, so you get onto that left side, so an impact, if that's where you, roughly your impact would be there, you can see your lead shoulder, arm and hands nicely down in a straight line. Look at the weight distribution there, your right foot now sort of rolling in, the left foot's nice and flat. And then from there, now the rotation through around the corner. We put a ball in the way, <laughs> as we always know. Backswing wise then is a little bit kind of more between the, so the hip sort of slides a bit this way. You start moving it a little bit there, but just a little bit left, and then not too bad. I'd say that's a better impact position there. All that's slightly different is the hands needs to be a little bit more there, yeah? You can see them back here on that right leg there. You just sort of just come a bit, as you said, over the, Yeah, exactly. But a lot of that over the top is going to come from more hip movement from here. Once you get to about here, that hip now and that shoulder are going to slide. And it's in some ways to go down that way, as that, that video clip I'll send you through, which I didn't should have made, to be fair, of what that golf is in. So we're moving here, and then as we get to about 10 o'clock-ish, I guess, with the arms, we're moving. Everything now is going towards target, both club head, hands, weight, hips, shift to target, okay? Mm -hmm. And then as we get there, we're going to stay on that front foot, and then we can rotate around our left hip, which you do very well. You just unfortunately don't have the shift to target, you rotate around it nicely there, hit the ball, and then you come through. So overall, the swing aesthetic looks really good, okay? It's just a few parts in the middle sort of a little bit out of sync. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you put these in a petrol car. Mm -hmm. It's fuel for a car, but hasn't mm -hmm. quite done the right job, yeah? Mm -hmm. It needs to be sort of a readjusted slightly, okay? So good turn with the hips, okay? Good turn with the shoulder. We've got to try and practice this move. So I'll send the video through with you with just the one of you with the club across your shoulders, with the one that was okay but a bit too much sway, then the one that had no turn, and then the two or three after that were really good turns and that reset. So you're just getting aware of that we've got that recentering. You've turned your shoulders here nicely, okay? You can see you've moved there. That's good. As we get to the top of the back, so we want to be recentering ourselves back to about here, which would be almost the centre of your body, yeah? So you rotate your hip, your shoulders and your hips, they're exactly sort of moving. So you turn and twist and recenter. yeah? What you do, you turn and twist, stop, then try and move left, but you haven't got time. Mm. <laughs> that club's coming down in a third of a second. So what you then you try and fire your left hip towards target, it's like, whoa, and that throws you back behind the golf ball. Or you just go, well, I'm just going to twist as best I can and 
hope for the best. Mm -hmm. You connect with the ball good, but you lose yardage, yeah? Make sense? Yeah. Excellent.